Hi, I'm Miriam, and this is Chris, Hi. and we're from Keto Chow, and today we just wanted to talk to you about the difference between ketosis and keto and ketogenic and ketoacidosis maybe. Yep. Um, we're not doctors, and we're just giving you our opinion mm -hmm. on what we've read and learned and how we've used keto in our lives. Yeah, so we're uniquely qualified in that I'm a systems engineer doing computer systems. And and, and I'm a mom. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> so, again, not doctors, but as an engineer, I'm very pedantic would be the best way to say it. So, um, in, in the keto world, and ketogenic diet, um, a lot of times people will use the term ketosis. And it's important that you know what that term actually means because... Well, words mean things. So ketosis means that you're burning or oxidizing or metabolizing ketones. It doesn't mean that you're making ketones. It means that you're using them. Um, there's also glycolysis or glycolysis, depending on how you want to pronounce it. I've never been able to figure out how to pronounce that word. And lipolysis or lipolysis. So you've got the, the thing that you're burning and the fact that you're burning it. Lipolysis, um, the is so ketosis, just like that. You, it's you're taking ketones, you're burning them. It doesn't mean you're making them. And there are a lot of different products out there that will make claims that if you take this powder, if you drink this stuff, you will be in ketosis in 30 minutes. Okay, that's it's actually true. If you drink ketones you will burn the ketones. There's a thing called oxidative priority. Oxidative priority is your body uses energy stuff in a particular order, kind of based on, well, toxicity and availability and capability of storage. Um, First thing in oxidative priority, yep. alcohol. Alcohol. You Before, drink alcohol, it's going to be the very first thing that you yep. burn. All other metabolic processes shut down until the alcohol is it's dealt burned. with. Okay. Number two, strangely enough, is ketones. And it's because um, your brain prefers ketones over any other energy, energy substrate there is. It prefers it over glucose. It prefers it over anything else. So if ketones are present, you will use them. You will be in ketosis. Which is burning ketones. Burning ketones. Not making. Not making ketones. Burning. Yeah. Once again, we're being very specific in the de specific definitions. Verbiage. Yes. So <laughs> after ketones are used up, ketones in your system that are just floating around, then your body will use up glucose. And that's because glucose is, well, it's, it's toxic um, to your, the proteins in your system after, over a certain amount of time. It, uh, you get what's called um, glycation. Your, your proteins become glycated. And, and if you've ever heard of a, a hemoglobin A1C, that's a measurement of how much exposure to glucose your red blood cells have had. It's interesting stuff. Anyway, after the glucose is taken care of, then your body will burn protein. And lastly, it will burn fat. So oxidative priority. Um, so once again, we're getting back to ketosis. Now, ketogenesis, which is where the ketogenic diet comes from, means that you're making ketones. Which is what everybody thinks ketosis is. Yeah, but it's not. Ketosis is burning it. So, yeah, it, once again, if you see a product and it claims that it will put you into ketosis, okay, technically... A lot of times that's true. It's true. Because you're burning ketones. Now, the, the thing about it is, is... They're preying on people's misconception that ketosis and ketogenesis are the same thing. They go hand in hand, usually. Um, it is possible to have high glucose and high ketones at the same time. Our bodies are not designed for that. Um, you're, it, when, it, when you have one sub energy substrate high, the other one should be low. And glucagon, which is also made by the pancreas along with insulin, kind of mediates that. Ben Bickman has a really good talk. If you search for Bickman 
Breckenridge, you're going to find a really good um, presentation by Ben Bickman about it. He'll explain it much better than I could. So now when we're talking about ketogenesis or ketogenic diets, um, there's a misconception that keto is bad because for most medical professionals, their exposure to keto, to ketones, is ketoacidosis. Diabetic ketoacidosis. Which is very bad. It is very bad. So on a ketogenic diet, typically you're going to see blood ketone measurements, and it's, and it's expressed in a really weird unit of measure called millimolars per liter. Okay? Whatever. It's a number. <laughs> so usually you'll see a, a, a measurement of blood ketones of around anywhere from 0.5 to maybe 0.3. When you get above like 2 or 3, that's the sort of levels that you want to treat epilepsy, to treat traumatic brain injuries for Alzheimer's. Alzheimer's. Um, things to do with the brain because, once again, our brains love ketones. It just puts them on to kind of like afterburners. It's just really amazing what high ketones can do for the brain. Um, but you, you, so you, you normally don't see very high levels when you're on a ketogenic diet because our bodies really don't need that many ketones, and so our liver doesn't produce a lot of them because too much of them, it's a waste of energy, and it, it starts to turn the blood just a little bit acidic because ketones are, it's, it's an acid is what it is. So when you're, you know, you're between like 0.5 and maybe 3, sometimes if you're fasting, you might get all the way up to 5 or maybe even 6. Um, but you generally won't see numbers higher than that. If a type 1 diabetic who does not have insulin does not use insulin to treat their high blood sugar, um, it puts the body into this like cascade chain reaction where the blood sugar is too high because there's no insulin and the liver is just getting the wrong signals and so it's producing ketones just with reckless abandon. Typically with uh, diabetic ketoacidosis, you'll see numbers as high as 20 or even higher. So compared to 3 or 4, maybe 5, 20. That's the range that you see with diabetic ketoacidosis. Mm -hmm. And it is a big deal because it actually, it turns the blood acidic. It starts to decalcify your bones. Um, it causes damage to the peripheral vascular system, like the capillaries in your eyes, things like that. You will not see numbers like that on a ketogenic diet. Even if you fast for a week, two weeks, 40 days, 100 days, you'll never see blood ketone levels that high if you have a functioning pancreas and if you have insulin in your system because the body will regulate itself and you won't get that runaway chain reaction. So, yeah, that's, that's ketosis, ketogenesis, ketoacidosis, um, a ketogenic state. Yep, keto <laughs> and, uh, ketogenic state. And incidentally, if uh, the general term to cover all of this is you're in, in a ketotic state. Yeah. Which sounds really funny. A ketotic state. A ketotic state. So anyway, thank you for joining us. And yeah, if you have any questions, um, this video will be posting it on YouTube. If you're viewing it somewhere besides YouTube, just click on... It'll be like right here. There it is. Right here. If you move your mouse over it, you can click on that. Um, it'll take you to actual YouTube where you can comment. You can leave questions. Mm -hmm. um, let us know what other stuff you might like us to talk about. I really like to get pedantic. He likes big words. <laughs> it's true. Thanks for joining us. Yep. Have a good day.